Hello everyone, this is Icy Me to bring you more of Mega Man Star Force Dragon. On the last episode, we're knocking out an old man with a baseball. Yay! Yay for violence. No, not really though. But that actually gotta hurt. But just for the sake for Subaru, we had to so we can actually get ourselves get a chance to go through his transfer and see what he's all about. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing here. And after this, we're gonna go to uh, to, we're gonna go back to our market and then go to the EM roads and all the beautiful comms that are in there just to see what they have. <laughs> so, not to mention this is gonna be a very short, a uh, very sweet and short episode, just to get things and everything out of the way. I believe here I was struggling just to find where I had to. Uh... Oh, there we go. There, mine. It's right there. <clears throat> So let's see what is this. This is the transfer of the satellite police. Detective Bob Copper charged with the um what? With the task of to of totally eradicating Z wave radiation. Huh, so apparently he's no so investigation notes. Z waves are EM radiation giving off by <laughs> extraterrestrial beings whose bodies are a composed of waves in the RF uh, spectrum. Location where in incidents have occurred thought to be related to the sea waves are a point seven five dot 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 all this <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that and observe from coordinates all these numbers Super Hoshikawa is a prime suspect even though he may be look really funny but he's actually knowing what he's doing and he's right <laughs> I said what the heck are, are the satellite police I asked my dad that once. He said that they were a group of under the force uh, satellite control. The force satellite control. They deal with things regular police can't. I see. Having them on our tail is going to be bad. Yeah, it will be bad. And I've got it. Got it. Uh, go into his transfer one more time. It's like, no way. What are you going to do? Just do it, kid. Trust me. What is he doing? He's like, ah! I said, no, what are you doing to me? We're going to be in so much trouble random, uh, ra randomly erasing stuff from people's transfer. That's the point. Erase all his data. <laughs> Shut up. I'm erasing everything that he knows about us. Uh, get a nice sip of water there. Hey, calm down. You touched that. Ah! Jeez, what, are he, what is he doing to him? I swear. And I'm talking. I'm not talking about Subaru. <laughs> I deleted all the stuff that he had on Seaways. Now let's get the heck out of here. Out of here. Yep. It's like ah, uh, ah. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, that's right. I was chasing something. <laughs> Oh, sea waves! I've chased some some strong ones here, and the readings are. Wait, what? It's like what? What? My data is all gone. What am I supposed to do now? <clears throat> Sorry, Mister. Not that we know that the old what, what the old man is up to. What and what he knows. Let's go home. <sighs> what another fine mess we're in. You know, I might as well just do that. Well, actually, no, we're not gonna just do that. We're gonna, like I said earlier, we're gonna go to my Mac and, and get everything, uh, get some stuff there. <sighs> you know, one thing I've just noticed also. Is that when you're in the EM, uh, you're in the EM road, all the tr all the colors on the real world actually changes a bit. So like it has this greenish tone, which is actually a pretty nice effect. It just lets you know you are actually are an EM being. There we go. Do 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 do. I'm trying to remember what exactly we needed here. 
Yeah, I was. I think I was trying to. There we go. That's what I was trying to look for. The telescope that ended up activated like an ep episodes ago, which contains a blue mystery wave as well. Like any other comps out there. Right, let's see this. I believe that there is life somewhere out there in space. Events being, for example, who knows how to harness the sun's energy? Hey, I'm a visionary. Beep beep. Funny, st funny thing about what he mentioned is that, well, two things already. Oh, and here we're going to get the uh, second HP in memory. And if you really want to spend the uh, your settings, you can get some new battle cards as well that I just show here. But I'm not going to bother with that. But um, going back to uh, the uh, <clears throat> that Navi was talking about. There is, uh, there are two things he mentioned about. One, of course, there, there actually are beings in space, the Ephemians and Amians. Uh, and, uh, two, there is, uh, uh, this is, <laughs> I'm just doing a little spoiler for those who might know. I might be wrong what I'm saying as well, so don't quote me. Um, there is a boss, uh, which, where is, uh, who is in, uh, where is, oh goodness, I can't even see, say. Where is in, uh, it's in, um, uh, Mega Man Star Force 2, who pretty much is the whole concept of, oh, I'm a sun being uh, not, uh, EM, uh, well, more like a sun EM being, being, jeez. It's like, hop, two, three, four, sufficient people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I think we're gonna go here to the ticket, uh, machine comp. Which I think there is also a blue mist rave. Which I, because I don't think I end up grabbing it. Somewhere in there. There we go. Oh, we get a nice 300 cent, that's just nice. Oh, and there's this other, uh, oh, we're getting another plasma gun, okay. <clears throat> but I was saying, here's another being here who actually, this is where you can buy sub cards. You got the large energy, the search eye, and cloaker, so. If you need any of them, well, go for it. Which I believe here, I'm just going to get another large energy. I think. Do I? Do I not? No. Oh, no, here I'm just showing what each does. I think, I don't know. Oh, there we go. So I did, I did buy uh, uh, just another large energy just, just, just for safe measure. Cause I'm not lie, I barely use them. Just for the fact that all you can do is just, just pulse out if you're really close. Like if you're close to a wave hole where you can just backtrack, and then just go back and then just pulse in back, and your health is back to full. And there we, of course, you saw we integrating another, um, another blue mystery wave. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Which is going to take me a while to grab, I believe. No, never mind. Just right there. It's the beautiful, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful power of jump cutting. Go to the, um, this teleport thing. Now, I think there's another blue mystery wave here around this road. And also what I'm here trying to find is the, uh, the rocket comp. Which I've been struggling. And here I did not mean to do this, actually. I did not want, I did not want to run into Cygnus Swing. <clears throat> Just like I mentioned on, probably in the last encounter, uh, the, on the la uh, the last encounter of, for boss, uh, for bosses. When I was fighting on Taurus Fire, is that you can still do a nifty trick about how... After meeting with this boss, you can use the search eye so you can uh, so you can actually get a chance to find him again so you can get the EX version of the battle card. But no. Here I was pretty much how I got to uh, I was like, uh I have to battle this guy. And I didn't feel like doing everything again because I have not saved since I believe since the, the, the with the encounter with Bob Copper at this point. But yeah. Pretty much, it's, he's pretty much the same, same thing as over. He's just a little bit faster. Oh, you cannot block those ducks. Well, the the white duck, you cannot you cannot block it. You actually have to shoot it down. That's what I like about that yo-yo right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So 
Sorry about that. Give me a second. I was just getting a nice uh, uh, drink of water there. And I was like, yes, right on the grass paddle to give him more double the damage. So at least it's, it's finished here. Almost the uh, finish. And there we go. See, when you actually have a much more bot uh, stronger battle cards, you don't have too much. You don't have that much problems. <clears throat> but yeah, there we go. At least you know where you can find find him there. <clears throat> Here, still struggling how to get to the rocket comp. That I want, I I think I actually activated on the last previous uh, on the very previous episodes. If it does take too long, I think I'm just gonna jump on into where it, to find out where it is. That tune can be really catchy though, I'm not gonna lie to you. <clears throat> there we go, there's the rock, rock, uh, rocket comp. Uh, comp. Which I think this is the last thing I'm going to be grabbing before heading out back to the main story. Yes, we guess we still have some plot to going on. Oh, look at that. We actually got some HP memory too. Well, I think this will be it for this episode, guys. So, next time on Mega Man Star Force Dragon. We're just going to continue with plot. Lots of lots of plot. So, this is actually me saying, see you guys later.